What's up? What's up, everybody? Saturday night. Under the lights. <laughs> What's going on? What a busy day. Man. Busy, busy, busy. Wait for some people to pop in. Oh, that's gone. We're not into a new month yet. Yo, Dwight Curley, what's up? You get rid of that? Yeah, okay. What's up, Dwight? Got an ice cream cone, ice cream bar. Hi, Jenny. How you been, Jenny? Steve says you're working a lot. Yeah. Shouldn't stand for that, Jenny. That's not good. Anthony, what's up? Jenny, did you get any snow? So I just put a video out. Back on track needs you guys. They need some we need some guests. Come on, join us on the show. Obviously, it's model railroading, so five inches of snow. Ugh. That sucks. I don't know if Digger's asleep or not. Expecting 12 more. That sucks. That really does. Just rained. A lot of flooding around here. Man, oh man. Flooding everywhere. It's just been raining all day. No snow. It's kind of warm. I was in shorts today. I guess uh, winter's not over yet. Mm. I bought a new new printer today. Really like it. A regular printer. Ah, man, I didn't know Best Buy. I bought it at Best Buy. Best Buy has 3D printers, and they have uh, laser cutters. They have the... They sell glow forge uh, laser cutters. I'm surprised they had 3D printers, though. The printer they had looked pretty nice. It was kind of expensive, 695 bucks. But I was really surprised they had, had them. I only had one, but <sighs> that's it. Went to the hobby store today again. Same place, paint store. 
AAA hobbies. Bought some more, a couple more bottles of paint, and uh, another pack of pallets. I have an idea I'm going to do with the pallets. I'm going to get more barrels too. But uh, yeah, went grocery shopping, did laundry, cooked. It's been a busy day. Got enough food to stay home till it melts. It might melt Monday, though. You never know. It could be uh, 70 degrees on Monday. We should get rain Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Yeah, we're supposed to get a bunch of rain next week, too. Middle of the week. Yours is melting. Yeah. So hopefully next week. I'm going to pick up some lumber uh, for my bench work. We'll see how that goes. Uh, what else? That's about it. Hey, Nathan DeLay, what's up? Uh, Sparky's meet and greet. I don't know. Yes. I'm guessing nobody in here is going, <laughs> except Nathan. It's a little far for everybody else, but uh, yeah, it should be fun. The train ride's going to be fun on Saturday. Train ride at RDCs, can't wait for that. This should be a good day, can't wait, sort of. It's in May, so, you know. Could be a, an eternity away. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, that's about it. You guys, anybody do any modeling today? Cleaning, cooking, what y'all do today? Uh, today I even cleaned a bunch of... Uh, my friend Bill's HO trolleys and buses. Oh, my God. It must have been about 25 of them. They were dusty from the last person that had them. Had them out on display, man. It was covered in dust. 20 years of dust, probably. But they all look pretty good. Oh, train horn. Here the train. This is the second time I heard the train today. I don't know where it's going. Digger, what's up? Down to a couple inches left, right now, but it takes a stretch of one to get through a foot. Mm, start taking everything off the layout. You're starting to take, what are you going to do on your layout? I'm cooking a pizza right now. I had pizza too. I had a Chicago deep dish pizza that I bought at the store. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. I guess I don't like the sauce on the top deal. What kind of pizza are you cooking, Nathan? Uh, had pork chops with mushroom, gravy, mashed potatoes, and corn. It sounds mighty good. Jaden Baker, what's up? I got a CSX train from Darby. Cool. Ricks, what's up? Me and my wife, Lisa, went to see Anthony Dodge's layout today. Oh, that's nice. You had a good time. Cool. Did you uh, eat a, eat uh, eat out when you were out there? How far is he from you? Oh, good, Jerry. Had a good day. Good. Salad? No, yeah, salad's good. I had salad, too, earlier. Salad's good. Mm, haven't eaten since breakfast. Tossing my cookies ever since. How come? Something from breakfast? What's up with that? What's going on over there? The one's different. I bought 
every topping and I put it on a cookie tray. Nice. Let me know how it is. I've been hearing trains all day. Then he dropped off some uh, hot, some gondolas in the siding over here. I know what they're doing now. Anthony lives 30 minutes from you. Uh, we stopped and got some food on the way home. I thought you were, I thought you were in Indiana. <clears throat> or is Indiana 30 minutes away from Anthony? Michigan. Okay. Michigan. So Michigan is like 30 minutes away? Well, my sister likes to collect small pocket knives for fun. Really? I carry this around sometimes. I got to sharpen it. What about you, Nathan? Do you carry a pocket knife? I like pocket knives. I have a few. I like knives. I like knives. Nothing like a good knife. I think I will wait till tomorrow to eat again. Bit of a fast to clear out the system. It's a good idea. But what did you eat that made you sick? He lives in Toledo, and Ohio is about 20 miles from you. Oh, I know he lived in Toledo. Did you go to Tony Paco's? Um, I know where he lived, but I, Michigan's that far, that close. That's that's nice. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, hope you feel better, Dave. Egg and sausage burritos. Did you make them? I don't know. Something got you. Some, some kind of bug got you. Maybe you need a little probiotic in your stomach there. Hmm. Yeah, something. I never cared about a knife with me just in case I was at the airport or something like that. Nathan, like, you don't just... decide I'm going to go to the airport today. <laughs> Better not, you know, it's not like, you know, Nathan, you can just carry a knife. It's, you know, it's okay. Yeah. How often do you go to the airport, Nathan? Every day? <laughs> yeah, maybe a bad egg. Do egg? Maybe. I don't know. What would be bad about the egg? Was it old? I don't know. Well, something got you. Got some Chinese food we like. Now that Chinese food. You gotta watch that Chinese food. That can make you ill. Yeah, only going to the airport when you're flying out or collecting some money. Yeah, pretty much. I haven't been to the airport since 2021. So, Nathan, you're okay. You can just carry around a little knife in your pocket. It's always nice. You never know when you need to cut something open, like a box, a letter, a package, or when you need to defend yourself. Wife had some kind of chicken, and I had shrimp, beef, chicken. That sounds good. Have 23 chickens running around here temporarily. Little baby ones? Oh, yeah, 
man. You better. Uh, what are you going to do with them? Like, it's going to start. Like, man, where are you going to put them? I hope your weather changes so that you can put them where you need to put them. Are they leg uh, leg hairs? <laughs> Are they egg layers or are they going to be meat chickens? I'll send you some, Digger. Uh, you know how to check an egg if it's any good? Spin it? I don't know, do I? Lots of eggs. Okay. I've seen my Uncle Dan has more than one gun, but only to protect himself. Yeah, from those thieves at the ATMs. Yeah, you gotta protect yourself. Good night, Anthony. Sleep well, my friend. Thanks for tuning in. Put it in water, and if it floats, bin it. Throw it away. Is that is that how you do it? Hmm. Why why does it float? So you guys uh do you keep your printers on all the time or do you turn them off? I think I'm gonna turn mine off. I don't print all the time, but I think I will turn it off. What do you think? I'm thinking it wastes ink just sitting there. Gas inside. Hmm. My printer is off until I need it. Hmm. Okay, that's one for that. Maybe I should do a poll. Yeah, let me try that. I never did that before. Start a poll. Here you go. Vote up top. Vote, vote, vote. You can only vote once, so you can't vote two times. What is the question? Pay attention, Dwight. Computer. Pr I don't have a 3D printer. Computer printer. Computer printer. Maybe I should have put that up there, huh? Do you have a 3D printer? Jenny? Can't turn on what you don't have. You don't have a printer? How do you print stuff? Uh, I don't use it that much, but when I need it, I need it. You know? Um, yeah. For example, I needed it to print my ticket receipts for the train ride so i mean you know and I, like you can get stuff printed at uh at like staples if you bring it on like a little flash drive they charge you a lot of money to print something i was like yeah no thanks man i'll get my friend to print it for me you need a printer dave no 3D printer here. Why would you leave it on if you're not using it? That would be stupid. I don't know, Dwight. Why do you leave... Uh, I don't know. Why do you leave your TV plugged in? I don't know. I don't know, Dwight. I don't know. I just never really ever turned my older one off. Sorry, if you're talking about 3D printers, you can pause the print. Now I am talking about computer printers, Nathan. Yeah, some people leave them on, but not me. Yeah, I used to. But I don't know. I think I'm going to turn it off. Our computer printer goes to sleep when we aren't using it. 
when we want to print, the printer automatically turns on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's going to go to sleep. Don't leave my TV plug in. I unplug it every night. You do? Uh, I feel more comfortable printing my Amtrak tickets just in case my phone went out. That's a good idea, Nathan. I know the newer printers can turn off automatically if not in use for a certain time. Yeah, I don't know. It's been on for, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. And it's still a little light up. Yeah, it's still... I don't think it's sleeping. Or this is off till we use it. Somebody said no, huh? One person said they don't turn it off. Maybe that's Jenny because it sleeps. Maybe Dave voted because he doesn't have one. <laughs> Either way, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll turn it off. Like I said, I don't print that much stuff. But when I need it, I need it. And it's nice to have it. It tired of bothering my friend Bill. Print me this, Bill. I'll pick it up later. <laughs> my TV and PC and lights on my desk is plugged into a power strip. Switch that off every night. Gotcha. Waiting for unsolicited fax. I don't think it does fax. I never got a fax in my life. We're watching the SpaceX rocket. They keep changing the time when it will launch. Hi, Miss Joan. How are you? Well, when was it supposed to launch, and when are they telling you it's going to launch? Jerry, crutch me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. But do you mean Bill from YouTube model? No, Bill, my friend Bill. Why would Bill from model YouTube print me something? Uh, he doesn't live by me. <laughs> What's up, PK and Bob? That was I. Oh, that was you? That was you, Bob? What did you say? Bob, blah, 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 blah. I do not turn anything off except my actual computer. Hmm. You are definitely the minority tonight, Bob. What's going on, Bob? How you doing? When you coming back? When you moving back? That was 45 minutes, then it went to over an hour. Went back to 45, now it's an hour. Where is it launching from? And does it matter? Can they like launch it at nighttime? I do have a regular printer but I don't want to use it because the ink is more expensive than the print. I know. I know, man. Like, I paid $79 for this. I think ink to redo it is like 50 bucks. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, maybe I'll just get a new printer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, why do they do that, man? I know why. But, like, do they have to? Do they have to make the ink more money than the printer? It's ridiculous. And then, like, well, somebody's just going to go get a new printer and then throw that one away. Then it winds up in the landfill or something. These printer companies suck. And then, like, the refillable ones... Um, they're expensive. Exhausted. Packing the pod with all my workshop and home office furniture equipment. 
going in the storage until I get my building. When are you moving? That's the thing, Bob. When are you moving? How can I collapse that? Won't collapse. Uh, I don't want to end it. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, you know, it's, these printers are so smart. You can't get like the generic uh, cartridges sometimes, they don't work. I think it's Ion Florida. And you can launch it tonight. You're watching it on YouTube. Okay. Mine's an Epson and it takes the generic angst. That's nice. I didn't know that they had like one that takes generic angst. Would it tip would it hmm? Isn't that something? Too late. I bought this one, Digger. Thanks for telling me. And where are you moving to? He's moving back to Pittsburgh. What's up, Wicked Insanity? How you doing, man? We have a cannon printer. It has refillable tanks. They had them there, but they were like uh, close to 200 bucks. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't feel like spending 200 bucks. And an HP, but the refills were discontinued. Yeah, this is an HP. Three weeks for the move. Bought Pittsburgh house in December. Been coming up once a month. Oh, really? You've been coming up. So, Bob, do you think you will be coming to Sparky's meet and greet in May? Or is that, like, too soon? It'd be nice if you came. Yo, Mystic, what's up? Mystic, are you coming to the meet and greet? Meet and greet. We have a little stack of old printers. I know. It's crazy. It's like... It's ridiculous, man. It is totally ridiculous. Yeah. I was at uh, Walmart one day, and they had a Canon printer for like $39. $39. It's like, what? Might as well just buy like 10 of them. It's the XY's fault, not mine. Yeah, they can be a problem. What's up, Mystic? What's going on? I wish I could. Uh, Mystic. I print nothing. Hmm. I don't really do much printing either, but like I said, when I need to print, you know, I need to print. I guess that, uh, you know, it's like, let's say I've just, print, I should keep track of how many prints I can get off of uh, ink. I have a feeling that, like, that little smart, those little printer cartridges, they have, like, uh, you know, once you open them and use them, you only got so much time to use them. So, like, if I don't print another thing, shut that thing off, and go to start it up again, and it says your printer ink is low, then I know something's fishy. Those machines can print money. I'd be all in. They can print money, but you just can't use it. My goddaughter has a printer if I need something. So does my friend Bill, but it's a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass to ask all the time. Sorry, I don't mind doing this idea, but would to make a billboard on your layout. That says your YouTube channel name. No. Got to jump. Going to dinner. Be well all. All right, Bob. Uh, what, what, what? 
Have a good night. Good seeing you. Not sure about May. Will be chaos after new when Sparky hosting the Shindig exactly. Uh, May 18th and 19th. What's up, Ray? I know that the newer printers can show how much ink is in the printer, and it feels weird that they're complicated, complicated to complete. Something so what they have nothing confusing. Yeah, probably. Rarely need anything printed. Yeah, me either too, but still I don't feel like bugging somebody to print stuff. I know I'm gonna have my tax papers to print next week. And you know, I got um, a list I need to print too. We should print that while we're here talking. I think I'll do that. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's my world. Did it go? to sign off premiere time. All right, Jenny, have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. I guess you're also going to print your Reading. In. I already did that, Nathan. I printed my Reading and Northern tickets. It's the first thing I printed. It's the first thing I printed, Nathan. I did with it. Hey, James, what's up? How many people did you have come by today? I had your stream on the whole time, even though I wasn't here for maybe an hour or two. But I just had it running. Then when I came back, I was doing stuff. I was listening. Sorry, at the theater, sounds turned off. Thanks for dropping by today. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess you didn't hear me. 
Jerry, I'm close to 3,000. No, I'm closer to 2,500 than I am to 3,000. But yeah, I'm getting there. Slow and sure. Damn it, man. Did I delete that email? Bitch, it took me months to get them to send me this damn email. Take months to send it back. I wonder if I'm looking in the same right place. But anyway, uh, Dwight, did you fix your layout? Dwight, did you get your wiring thing figured out? Dwight, did you take your track out? Dwight, did you build a new layout? Are you close to a new milestone anywhere? Some, somewhere in 2,500? Jerry, do you think if I sister a 1x8 piece of pine to my half-inch plywood, would it bow a lot? in a foot span for my bridge. Mm, what do you mean sister? Like uh, plywood one by eight? Like that? Or like this? How you doing it? Ah, there it goes. Can I print it from here? Let's see. Print. Loading document. Couldn't load a document for printing. Why not? I meant three foot span. Rick, did you mean a sibling as a sister? No. <laughs> No, Nathan. Uh, Dwight's taking his layout apart? I don't know. That's what he said earlier. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he'll talk about it uh, tomorrow. to optimize my printer. I just need to run something. Printing from my phone, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, no thanks. I just want to print. Why are you making this a pain in the ass? So maybe print supply level, so oh, it's doing something. Sorry, is there an Aldi's? Yep, I have two of them. Let me there. So they bring bags. Yep, I go to Aldi all the time. I don't know what the hell's printing. Yes, that should work, Rick. Uh, glue. Glue the half inch plywood to a one by eight as support. Uh, oh, yeah. 
1 by 8. Why do you need a 1 by 8? I don't need it to say in the middle, but why do you need a 1 by 8? How big is the plywood? Well, that didn't go well. Fuck, take print stuff. Print photos, print documents. Video. Nine pages. No oh, shit. Print. Hmm. That wasn't too hard. What's up, DES Dave? For the width, it's a curved bridge. He's using that one, but I I understand he's using it to support it. But why do you need something eight inches wide? You already connect, yeah, connected it. It's got an app. Like if this is the one by eight, right? And. Uh, this is this sheet of plywood. What are you doing? Doing this? Is this what you're doing? This? Or this? Or this? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't, you know, sistering. To me, sistering means uh, when you're putting them together like this. That's where I got it. I didn't get the pizza dough from Aldi's, but it's pretty. I like the pizza dough at Aldi's, though, Nathan. It's pretty good. I've used it for other things. Other things. Thing's noisy, isn't it? You hear it? I think you do. <laughs> so it's done. Plywood would sit on top of the one eight, one by eight. I have all the track and road bed on the plywood. It's done. Makes a little jingle when it's done. Um, yeah, that's no problem. So it's your plywood's only like eight inches wide. My printer is a color laser jet printer. It takes seven minutes to start up. I don't have that time. I don't know how long this takes to start up, but I'm shutting it off, though. I don't need it on all the time. Maybe it does go to sleep. I don't know what all these lights are on it. Let's check it out. What's up, Rick? Yeah, wide bridge, double main. Did you ever try dragon fruit? No. Uh, Jerry doesn't drink, Nathan. Hi, Rick Tree. Uh, I guess Dwight's not going to tell us. Uh, the killer thing is when the printer decides to clean itself at 2 a.m. What's up, Tycho Mike? Yeah, I don't need that shit at 2 a.m. I'm shutting that bitch off. Shutting it off.
Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think you'll be okay, Rick. I think you'll be okay. So here's the thing, right, Rick? Uh, one buy material isn't very supportive like this. It's more supportive like this on its end, you know? Like, if this was the one by eight and this was your sheet of plywood, it's more supportive this way than it is this way. Even though it is supportive, it's stronger this way. You understand? And you don't need a one by eight. It could be like a one by two. But having it on edge is more supportive. There's more strength this way than this way. By two by fours go up and down like that. Instead of like that. I could see that digger. Mine was a gimme. I saved five years at work and broke. So I took it home and reported it. Been working for two years. Hey, you can't beat that deal, Rick. I think lawyers is kind of lying when they say the best price is because it's being cheap when I don't, I don't not cheaper than Boyers. What's Boyers? What is that, Nathan? Yeah, so like, you know, this popsicle stick, right? See? Right? But I'll never be able to do that this way, right? I'll never be able to flex it this way. You know, when it's this way. This way? Yeah. Same thing with any kind of dimensional wood. Like if you had a big shelf made out of whatever, right? The only way it's going to get real strength is in thickness, right? So if you had... Uh, three-quarter inch shelf that was eight foot long right it would bow in the middle it would sag but if you supported it across its length with just a one by two or one one and a half inches wide right even an inch if you support it going across this way right it will strengthen it What's up, Dirk? Yeah. And the only way that you can use it, use something without support is if it's thick. Like two inches, inch and three quarters, then it can span. I do digger. It's how I printed the decals for the coffee mug. Is that how you printed them? Oh, it's a grocery store. I don't know that grocery store, Nathan. Oh, cool. Laser jets are professional and usually very expensive. Yeah, I think this is an inkjet. Can you still get ink for your printer, Rick Bailey? Won't you come home, Rick Bailey? Won't you come home? Uh, but that's it. It's my story. Did you watch any movies recently? No. Uh, have you? No, there's nothing really that I want to watch. Nothing any good. That's free. There's one movie I would like to watch, but I don't feel like paying for it. It's Beekeeper. Looks pretty good. Beekeeper. 
It's not about bees, though, Nathan. I watched a little bit on YouTube, if that counts. Oh, I watched YouTube. Does that count? Yes, I took what was left at work. I found a few distributors that still carry it. Thankfully, I don't have to change it much. Each color is $112. How many colors are there? And how long do you think it's going to last? What's up, Eric? How are you? How's it going? How's it going, eh? Four colors. I have only had to purchase blue and black recently, so two years. So you can still get it, but it's expensive, huh? Hmm. Hmm. So, needless to say, do you print with it all the time, or do you have, like, a cheap printer that you can use? Just get, like, a throwaway $49 printer so that you can just print, like, black and white documents. You know, like a burner phone. The only printer in my life is at work and it turns itself, it turns back self off. Hmm. So they let you print stuff at work? How do you bring it? On a flash drive? No, I use it all the time. It's cheaper than ink. Hmm. So did you vote, Eric? So what's my poll now? It's 50-50? Yeah, it's 50-50. And uh, how many people voted? 20 votes? 20 votes? It's not even 20 people here. Uh, some of you people vote twice and three times. Did your dead uncles vote too? Jerry, did you use your charge any chargers when you go real fanny? Any trains in person or see none? Huh? There's a charger in Harrisburg, but some people said Oh Amtrak chargers you're talking about. You talking about Amtrak chargers? The trains? The locomotives print stuff for work, and yes, I voted. Um, those printers will switch themselves off. This one ain't switching itself off. There's still like little lights blinking and flashing. I mean, it might be sleeping, but I know that thing is going to come on at 2 o'clock in the morning and start something and wake me up, maybe. I'm shutting it off. I'm just shutting it off. That's it. End of story. My dead grandfather voted two times. Damn it. I knew this was going to go wrong. Can't trust you guys for anything, can I? Hey, I posted a video, okay? Go watch it and um, come on the show. Not this show, 
the other saddle. It's about one to two hours after its last use, I think. What is? Oh, it goes to sleep? One to two hours after its last use? Well, I'll see if it goes to sleep. It's eight o'clock. I'll give it to ten if it... I'm shutting it off. It doesn't matter. The one at work turns off five minutes after its last use. Yeah, I don't know what this one does. Maybe you can set it or something. I don't know. I'll look in the manual. I'll look in the manual. I'll try to do that show for the other channel. Okay, well, you let me know, Nathan. Do you have your layout to talk about? Hey, Dwight, are you building a new layout? Dwight's not telling us. He's not going to tell you. Dwight's like uh, top secret. Back on track is looking for guests. Yes, we are. No, I've not seen a charger in person yet. Yeah. Dwight is tuna fishing. Yeah, Dwight's tuna fishing, all right. Looks pretty good. Like it. It looks good. I just question: Will it hold up, though? Good day, model railroaders. Good day, Sparky. No, I have no power to the tracks, Digger. <coughs> Hey, Dwight, why did you say your layout is dead? Mostly to show off my top secret layout, sorry. Like what you're going to see when you go to Sparky's event. And when and I said, Miners, well, that place is very close to me. Yeah, okay. Is Miners well close to you, Nathan? Like how close, though? Like, can you walk there? It's Heath's fault. It's not Heath's fault, it's your fault. Oh, uh, okay. Can't drink with it, huh? I like it, but I wonder... Maybe you can find frosted mugs already, though, Rick. You know what I mean? Because I'd want to drink out of it. I like it. It looks cool. But I'd want to drink out of it. Maybe you can find frosted mugs. Maybe you just need to get a sandblaster now. I have tried, dear. Oh, dear, Dwight. You fixing the power? Oh, dear. Oh, sometimes it's best not to monkey around with electrics, electrics but I wonder why it failed Solomon. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I wonder too. Doy, you got a lot of gremlins over there, I think. I think uh, the model railroad gods are against you, Doit, and they're doing everything in their power to fight you. That's what I think is going on. Digger, it was from turning the car around that freak wanted me to. Oh, well, so Jason is a lot to answer for. Yeah, I wanted to use the dull code because the decals were not holding till on the last run. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Why weren't they holding? Because the glass was too smooth? But maybe they would hold on a real frosted mug, you know, like if you sandblasted it. Uh, something, something's messed up, Dwight. Something's totally messed up. I don't know, do I? I just don't know what to tell you, man. I know what I would do, but I'm not going to tell you to do it. What would you do, Jerry? I'm not telling you what I would do. I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's what I would do. Tear it all out and start over. Fix everything that's messed up and start over. I don't know, but I, I understand that if he doesn't, I get it. But right now, it's like frustrating. I can't even have no fun on it. Hmm. Have you tried resetting your power supply? Dwight, do you have a video up? I am not sure what the problem is. Mm. Yeah, Jerry Minersville is 14 minutes away. That's too far to walk, Nathan. When we're in Minersville, it's not like I can come over. It's too far to walk. And we're going to be in Minersville for four hours, okay? I know we can just sit around and talk, but you know, I'm just telling you. That's all. Just telling you. I was on the phone with Plummer. He is coming to the meet and greet. Oh, cool. Very good. 
Very good. Is anybody else in here coming? Anybody else? You saw Nathan and Sparky? I kind of don't expect a lot of you to come because you're all too far. 14 minutes in a car, Nathan, in clear traffic. Wow, hot water. Maybe, hmm, wow. So did it wash the sticker off too? Wow. Was it acrylic or late, like, uh, like uh, a lacquer type uh, dull coat? Uh, Ian, what's up? I won't make the 18th, but I hope to meet up with everyone whenever y'all do on the 19th. I won't be there the 19th, but that's okay. You can meet other people that are going to be there, Ian. I already know what you look like. Come on, Digger. You can stay with Jerry for the week. Screw you, Spark. You can't stay with me. I'm going to stay with you. Decal stayed. It was lacquer. Lacquer washed it off with hot water? Maybe it just wasn't like it didn't have a good bond to the glass, you know? I still say look for frosted mugs. Look, look for pre-frosted mugs. I know you don't want to get a sandblaster in. You can get a little sandblaster from Harbor Freight, maybe. They have little ones. I think it looks really cool. You got to figure out how to keep it and make it usable. I wouldn't want one if it wasn't usable. 19 so far in just a museum in. Hamburg, and I hope to visit Nathan's layout at some point. And that's cool. You'll like uh, the Hamburg Museum. It's nice. <sighs> I've never been to the museum in Hamburg, Hamburg so... That works for me. Yeah, the museum's really nice. I like it there. Their, uh, their layout's nice. The yard is nice. They got some nice equipment. I haven't been there in a, quite a while. It's been probably, I don't know, at least five years, maybe six. So I don't know. They were building another building, I remember. But, uh, yeah, it's cool. Ah, maybe you guys can catch a train, too. That'll be excellent. I don't see why you can at 2.30. Oh, man, that'll be most excellent. Get a fast freight. Oh, boy. Hmm. So right now, uh, the yeses, they turn it off, are winning. They are winning. Sparky, did you vote? Ian, did you vote? Because I'm about to shut the poll down. Jerry, last time I was at the Reading Museum, CSX on display turn be turned into a writing. Oh that's cool. Turn that printer off. Okay. That's it. I did not vote because I don't have a printer. 
You don't have the printer. How are you going? How are you going to print your tickets, Sparky? Sparky, you need a printer. I guess you could use your phone. Say, make sure you save that email for your phone. You know, so you need some type of verification. Yeah. All right. That's it. Turn it off. End the poll. Boom. Just like that. Thank you all that voted. And thank you, Rick, for your dead uncle voting, too. Mm. Wife has two printers. Are they not yours, too? Time for some red wine. Enjoy your red wine, Rick Bailey. So, like, what's hers is hers, and what's yours is yours. You have no mutual things, no sharing things, no share things. Local wine from New Jersey, Rick. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> That's it. Rick's going to get drunk tonight. You didn't finish that bottle yet, man? What are you doing? Red wine from a mason jar, last cup. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nothing like it. Shame you couldn't use your frosted Rick Bailey, Fault Bailey mug. It's a damn shame. You need to do some uh, Fault Bailey wine glasses. Did you print that sticker or buy it? Maybe if you had them, you know, had some stickers made professionally, then the adhesive would be better. And it would stick to the glass. I don't know. My dad gave me stickers that he gets from work when he prints them out for my YouTube channel. That's cool. Oh yeah, that's right. You you have your uh, yeah your dad prints your stickers for your YouTube channel. That's neat. Nine nineteen. So what? There were like eighteen people here at one time. Where they all go? They all left, but there are actually decals. They're not stickers. Print it on my laser printer and cut out on my something. I saw that, Rick. <laughs> cut out on your. I don't know. What the hell is that? Situate. What the hell is a situate? Cut out on my stiletto cutter. You got a stiletto cutter? You're pretty fancy, Rick Bailey. I don't know what a stiletto cutter is, but it sounds pretty fancy. You've been holding out on me, haven't you?
Rick Bailey, why don't you like have like channel stickers? What's up with that? <laughs> What's up, Cosman? Rick has all the gear. It's like Creality Cutter, Jerry. I don't know what that is, Digger. Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's about it. I got something coming tomorrow from Amazon. Actually, a couple things. Can you guess what they are? Stiletto is a show. Yeah, I know. Silo silhouette? Silhouette? Like a shadow. Okay, your silhouette. Did I say stiletto? Yeah, you know. So, uh, what do you do with that thing, Rick Bailey? Is that what uh, Kenzie crafts with? Is that thing pretty big? Yeah, Rick wears stilettos. Size 13. <laughs> oh, Jerry. I bought some trains from Amazon. No, no trains. Hello, Stewart. You have something for the train from Amazon bus cars, probably. Huh? I don't understand that, Digger, but no. It's like a cricket cutter. No one uses right now but me, mostly learning how. But it comes in handy on certain build projects. Yeah, but it does. You could print signs and... Ah, you can do a lot with that thing, huh? wonder how fine can you print with it. Like, does it print or cut? Cuts, right? Doesn't print. Yeah, whatever. But no. All right, Dirk. Have a good night, man. Trying to make another video. Okay. Don't mess it up. Jerry is the Amazon package. I need a th need thing. I need thing. Huh? What does that mean? I can cut up to one millimeter thick styrene. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty neat. That's really cool. So, like, could you, like, cut out windows, like, multiple windows on, like, a side of a building or something? Like, if it had, like, 20 windows, could you cut them out? And would they be good? The more of a real fan, what's up? Cut windows out of siren brick sheets. Yes, I can't. Well, get out of here. That's pretty awesome, dude. That's sweet. You said, like, you can cut out doorways. Wow. How does it do? Does it do a nice job? Square corners? Have you ever tried it? That's my question to you. The real question. What I meant was like you need for everyday use, whether it's using the kitchen. No, it is modeling related. I will tell you that much. It's modeling related.
You're never going to guess, so just stop. You'll have to wait until it comes. Dude, sadly, you can't get to go to the train show today because of the heavy rains. What train show? There was a train show? Why can't you go tomorrow? Windows are a pain to cut. Yeah, they are. Ha, ha, ha. Dwight makes excellent trees. You see him beating around the bush? No, I never did. Yeah, Jerry and Wilmington. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Chase Center. Yeah, that show blows. But why can't you go tomorrow? Bought some static grass. Mod Pods makes dishwasher safe stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to put that through my sprayer though. But it's up to you. Hmm, Rick Bailey. I don't know about some of them cuts, Rick Bailey. Rick Bailey. Yeah. I don't know about some of them. They, they look kind of crooked. For a machine. What's up with that? What's up with that, Rick Bailey? Yes, they do. It's real thick. Oh. So, like... But one millimeter? What's one millimeter? I don't know. So, like, it probably can't cut, like, 40 thou styrene. Taking the uh, boys to WKNS tomorrow. Yeah, Easter Bunny train tomorrow. Nice. Got other plans. Eh, well, so much for the train show. I haven't seen many videos of that railroad. Uh, well, maybe you'll see one next week. I have some video of WKNS. Getting ready for bed. It's eight thirty. Good night, Eric. Sleep well. Was supposed to go today. Yeah, it's not a good day to ride the train. Yeah, I don't know about that cutter machine, Rick Bailey. I don't know. My hopes were high, but they've been dashed. Jerry, would you like to use those packets you use in the dishwasher? But it's used more for weathering freight cars. Would that interest you to make things easier? Huh? Packets, packets for your dishwasher, but use them for weathering. Uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about, Nathan. Nathan, have you been drinking? I love those 65-ton center caps. Yeah, they're pretty good. It will cut 40,000. Yeah, but you guys didn't see the pictures that Rick sent me. The window's like, like that. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I don't think, sorry, wrong photo. This is after I had uh, wide and open names because Ray gave us the wrong measurements. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sure, like, the cutter needs to be very sharp, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, they look a little better. Yeah, they look a little better. Yeah, 
Hey, look a little better. How do you know, Widow Cut Digger? Do you have one too? No, I'm not joking about this one. I know it exists because of a model railroad mech. I have no idea what you're talking about. Nathan, packets you use in the dishwasher. You put soap in the dishwasher. What else do you do? And what does it weathering? I don't know, Nathan. You need to show me something about this. I wish a woman to Western would have a 50 toner. Yeah, yeah. What are they going to do with a 50 toner, Jeffrey? Remember, you're gluing again titchy windows so you won't see it. I don't know. Like, do, what are the titchy windows like? I never used them. I never did anything like that. The thin vinyl, so I'm pushing it. Okay. Yeah, so probably... Probably you got to change the cutter more frequently if you're going to cut that stuff. Probably needs to be sharp. Or just don't cut real thick stuff. Hmm. How did you used to cut it before? With a exacto knife? One millimeter is 40,000. I've looked at them, but don't have one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I'm only going to have a couple buildings on my layout, so it's like, yeah, I'll just figure it out, cut them by hand, cut them with my jigsaw, <laughs> maybe my chainsaw. Ian, can I use your chainsaw to cut some styrene windows and doors? I like to get to Wilmington Western sometime. Yeah, I don't know. Let's... I don't think it's worth a two hour ride. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> hey, it's a decent it's a decent ride if it goes all the way. If it doesn't, meh, it doesn't it's not, you know, it's not that great. I'd like to see Westchester outcomes too. Now that would be good. Like if you went to Westchester, like if you went to um see the messed up thing about both railroads is neither of them starts early. I think the first train at Wilmington's twelve thirty, the first train at uh Westchester is like 12.32. And uh, like you could take the 12.30 at Wilmington and it's not far, probably half an hour, take that. 12.30, come back at 1.30, be at Westchester around 2.30. And I think there's a three o'clock at Westchester, something like that. But yeah, that would be cool to ride both. But they don't always use the alcoves, though. But you could go up to the yard and look at them. We are going to Rehoboth in July, so I'd like to hit something on the way home. Yeah, depends when you're coming home. But it will be a weekday, so... Yeah, you're not going to either of them on the weekday. Stroudsburg would be your only, only thing that would you would be able to ride during the weekday. Yeah, Stroudsburg would be the only New Hope maybe, but you don't want to ride New Hope. Cost you fifteen dollars just to park. Damn that, Rusty. Shh. Rusty's eating like a king tonight. He always puts these pictures of his, of his food on uh, 
Facebook. It's what Rusty's having. Looks like oysters or something. Oysters something. I don't know. Damn you, Rusty. Uh, it is fancy, Digger. Digger, had I known you would have stayed up this late, I would have went on stream yards. But now you could be in your bed and your PJs ready for bed. It's 8.30. Oh, boy. It's almost time for the change. Next Sunday, I think you uh, your clock's changed, Digger. So it's only... It's 12.30, right? Yeah. Still kind of early. What's the five for us, Barky? Sparky, what's five? Five. Oh, no. They haven't changed clocks yet. Oh, excuse me. It's only four hours right now. Next Sunday, it will be five. It's four right now. They don't change the same time we do. Do, do, do. Sparky, why don't you come on back on track on a Sunday morning? What's up with that, Sparky? What is up, my YouTube What's up, my YouTube fans? What's up? Did not know that. Did not know what? About the time difference thing? I didn't know it either until Digger told me. This is messed up. Why they change two weeks after? No, actually, they change like a month. Like we change, well, like two weeks now. It's like we change. What did we change at the beginning of March or the end of October? And they're changing the end of March. It's like almost a month. I don't know. You've been on back on track. How long ago were you on back on track? The old layout or the new layout? You got updates? Maybe you got updates. I'm just saying, I don't know. You don't have to be on. I hear a train again. Tell them guys still they're down coastal. taunting me because the damn birds just have to be different sparky yeah they wait till i have my christmas event to have me on they do why the hell do we change anyway i don't know i don't know you're asking me what do i know i wish we would just leave them alone like just set them and forget them Set them and forget them, like Billy Mays says. Good old Billy Mays. It came about during World War One to increase the daylight during working hours. I thought it was like for farmers so that their kids could help them. I don't hear so many different stories. Whatever it is, we're done with it. Jerry G wants to know why there's no track 
on the coffee table layout. I don't know, G. You got to ask your dad that. Tell him, what's he doing? What are you doing, man? Let's go. Get some track on that coffee table layout. Is he still awake? I think the war is over. I think so. I think so. Oh, boy. Hmm. It's been a long, productive day. Glad I got my printer. Oh, yeah. For those of you, uh, I went back to the hobby store today and bought some more palettes and a couple more different colors of paint. That was my hobby day today. Those little palettes, man. I really like those palettes. The barrels, too, are nice, too. I got a lot of house stuff done. That's nice. Always helps to get the house stuff done. Now you can, now tomorrow you can go train watching. Yeah, I went grocery shopping today, cleaned a bunch of trains for Bill, trolleys, cleaned the rest of that collection off. So now I can get rid of that. Got my printer, went food shopping, went to the hobby store. Yeah, it's been a day. It's been a busy day. Yeah, trying to get our spare room cleaned out so I can redo that one for Cam and move Luke in the Cam's room. Right? Two separate rooms? You're not going to have one, one room? Like a bunk bed you could do? Let them bunk together. They're boys. When are you going to have a girl? Did you all see Yankee Dabbler has a new website? No. Do they? Is it better than the old one? Yo, Dwayne, what's up? I printed our tickets. Is it better than the old one? Now I got to go over there. Wow. Look at that. Hmm. That looks pretty nice. On sale, cylindrical hoppers. Wow. Get out of town. Got their calendars. Timoniums, 34 days, 12 hours, 23 minutes, and 27 seconds. 26, 25, 24. Trains by scale. What the hell are you doing, Yankee Dabbler? Wow, look at this thing. Well, that's mighty nice. 15% off, 20% off. Um, very nice. Authors. What? Yeah, it's nice. Because I got to tell you, their old website sucked. Huge. Sucked. Big time. Wow, scale trains, man. $300 for an HO locomotive. Yeah, it's very nice. It looks good. Thanks, Rick. I did not know that. Yankee Dabbler has a new website. It's about damn time, Yankee Dabbler. I'm not sponsored by Yankee Dabbler, so I'm not going to put their link up here. <laughs> You're going to have to Google it yourselves. They don't sponsor me. Screw them. <laughs> I don't think Wednesday we will have a girl. I'm done. Not enough of me to go around for tickets. 
<laughs> yeah, don't blame me there. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Oh, no problem, Dwayne. Uh, hi there. I saw they have Robert's Mortar. Gotta get me some. <laughs> What's Robert's Mortar? Yes, it did. Hate their old. Yeah, it was like, it was horrible. Like to search for something, it was like, it had more luck looking for yellow pages and finding something in there than on that website. That, that, it was sucked. I hated that website. Now this looks really nice, man. It looks nice. It's easy to navigate. Yeah. It's about time. Let's see. Yeah, it really is. Super easy. I think I got some Walters cars for like 17 bucks. Fifty-one percent off. That is an HO though. But yeah. It looks good. I think it's some nice uh T H and B uh Hop, uh, cylindrical, cylindrical hoppers. They look pretty nice. Yeah, they got some good sales. Oh, those are cool. Hmm. I'm going to have to get a little cup of cars from Yankee Gabber to Monday night specials. Monday night closeouts. Yeah, kudos to you, Yankee Dabber. Good job. They got a little chat thing. They're probably in India. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, got that right, Digger. But they still lost my business over the wrong around I got trying to pre-order stuff. Yeah, I don't blame you. There's plenty of other people out there that are way easy to deal with. Not that they're not bad to deal with, but I would just go in the store because I'm so close. I don't need to order anything. Uh, we need Nicholas and Smith to update theirs. Yeah, but they're, at least their website is not hard to navigate on. You can find stuff on there. It's not this nice is Yankee Dabblers, but at least you can find stuff there. And it's not a pain in the ass. It doesn't, like, frustrate you. But, yeah. Again, like, yeah. I mean, both stores are the same. They mostly do a lot of online stuff. So there's things in the back that are not out front in the store. So it's not like you could, I mean, you can go to the store and get it, but you're not going to see it in the store if it's only in the back. You know what I mean? Inventory, like online inventory. So, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah, once they mess you around, it's difficult to trust them. Again. Yeah. I love that I can pre order the scale trains right through scale trains. Yeah, that's nice. I order from a place here, and after a week, I had to email them to see if they sent them. Then they told me they weren't even in stock, but they took my money anyway. <laughs> Those bastards. Don't you love that? They give you a refund? Hey, how the frig do they do that shit? Take your money when it's not even in stock. I'll tell you, man. Gotta love some of these places. Did 
They must have just did this, too, Yankee Dabbler. Because I was there, like, maybe last week looking for teachy stuff. They didn't have no teachy stuff. Titchy. Titchy. They didn't have no titchy stuff. I don't know. Do they have? Can you search by brand? Mm, switch those scale trains. Mm, change that containers, vehicles. Structures. Assembly. Scenery. That was the only nice thing about the old website was that you could search by brands. I don't see that you're able to do that now. Scenic details. I don't know if I just typed in Titchy. Nope. No Titchy. Hmm. I guess they don't carry no Titchy stuff. They didn't before. I couldn't find them on their website before. Yeah, I don't blame you, Digger. I wouldn't use them again either. You know what you should do, Digger? Go over there, put a bunch of stuff in your cart, and leave it there. And see if they send you an email. You have stuff in your cart. We'll give you 20% off if you complete your order. <laughs> Digger, I have that same problem with Rita. Once I'm... Oh, Rick Bailey. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Try it out and see. So see, so put like a bunch of shit in there, all kinds of stuff, and see if you get an email from them. That's what Cosman used to do. I don't. Cosman might still do. Hey, you got stuff in your cart. We'll give you fifteen percent off. <laughs> you get that from e eBay a lot, you know. You put it on some, put something on your wish list, and then you know a couple days later, they just you get an email. And the seller will give you twenty percent off or fifteen percent off, something like that, if you complete your purchase now. Times are tough, man. They must be getting hard up. Man, I can't wait for my Amazon order to come tomorrow. Wonder what time they'll come. It's that train again. Damn train. Oh, shit. I don't feel like going out to see what the train is. Anyway. Yeah, it's a little chilly right now. Yeah, it's too chilly to go out. It's cold. What's coming from Amazon, Jerry? I told you it's modeling stuff, but nobody could guess. Well, yeah, two things are modeling. One thing can be used for something else, but I'm going to use it for modeling stuff, for modeling tools. It's track. No, it's not track. It's not track. It's not trains. It's not buildings. It's part of my kit, Digger. Freaking cold over here all day. It was like 50 today. Um, now it's, you know, it is uh, 
38 feels like 27. Well, it's cold out. It's too cold to be uh, messing around with trains. But anyway. Dwayne, I get what Dwayne, what are you gonna do? You're gonna uh, just come out and drive home or you're staying out for the meet and greet? What are you doing? You stay in a couple of days, they're gonna to go to Hamburg on Sunday. Jerry, I'm hoping to save up the Kato Amtrak for one of the 50th anniversaries. It's special to me because I've seen the real one. Uh, what are you going to get in HO? And I can buy it easily from Amazon. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you can buy it easily. You can buy it easily anywhere. Well, why don't you, instead of getting Amazon gift cards, why don't you just get, like, Visa gift cards? That way you can use them anywhere. Like, if you want to buy something from Yankee Dabbler, you can use it there. Or Lombards, you could use it there. Sometimes Amazon doesn't have good deals. Jerry, I'm not too familiar with these they're just like amazon gift cards you know they look like you know they're just like this they look like amazon yeah you can use that number you want to use that number you can use it <laughs> it ain't nothing on there but they look just like this nathan right just like an amazon gift card you can get them anywhere Home Depot, Lowe's, Aldi's, Kroger's, get them anywhere. Driving out Friday, leaving for home. So, so you're staying out here. Cool. Very good. Listening now, working on something. Hmm, wonder what he's working on. Working on the layout? <laughs> uh Working on something. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's cool, Nathan. Cold today here, and there was an early report of snow on the North Pennies. Uh, so you know what that means, Digger. Snow is coming to you soon. It's crazy, man. Uh, Dave BNS was in here earlier. He said they got five inches and they're going to get more snow. I don't know, tomorrow or tonight or something. Yes, layout got a train running too. No place. Got a train running. Oh, so that's it. I don't know. Hey, Sparky, you're not here anymore, are you? You left? Are you working on shirts? Still, are you working on shirts for your new meet and greet? I know somebody that you can hit up for some photos for some Redding and Blue Mountain stuff. This is, he's here in chat right now. Ian. Maybe he'll share a photo with you. I don't know if he's got any... Keith and Ian, I need to chat. I don't know if he's got any 113 photos. I don't... I don't have any 113 photos. I don't know if my friend Ted does. I know he went and wrote it. Yeah, I don't know. You have 113 footage. You have some photos of 113, Nathan? Yeah, 
he already hit me up, Terry. And we have Sparky. We have Sparky. He got them. I have one video from 113. So you can get some stills from it. I mean, photo. Well, how's your photo? You can use that. That'd be cool. Photo 113. And maybe some RDCs. You got RDC photos, Ian? That'd be pretty cool. Some RDC stuff and 113 on the same shirt. That'd be pretty neat. Well, work on it. Chop, 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 chop. I'll throw it on Google for Heath. Then, as I didn't add that one, wasn't my best work. Well, you know, maybe you can fix it up. Send it to me and I'll photo clean it up if I can. But yeah, we, you need some shirts, Sparky. Don't slack. Don't be a hoser. I didn't even get a shirt from last time. Did you do shirts last year? I don't remember that. I have video of RDCs for already a long time ago. I'll take some digging to find them on YouTube channel because being that long, yeah, you can find them pretty easy though. Oh, but anyway, yeah. Tell Heath to get to working. You, just, you don't need a bunch of shirts. Just one or two. Not like the last time from Southburg. Hey, here's the last year. I'm still on the Teespring store. Oh, really? Hmm. I don't even I didn't even see them. I don't remember yeah, I mean Yeah, I had no reason to nah, you know. I didn't know you did shirts last year. I don't recall seeing anybody with them. Just figured out my wire stripper doesn't have a crimper on it. Hmm. Use your teeth. You can just crimp them with a pair of pliers. Oh, boy. Oh, shoot. I have to get some wire, and I need a thicker single-strand wire, kind of like home wire for a little project I'm doing. needs to be about, you know, eight inches long. Yeah, about eight inches long. Flexible and doesn't need to break. What gauge would I use, Sparky? Yeah. Uh, thickness wise, probably like, I don't know, I don't know, like 16th of an inch thick, something in that range. Doesn't have to be that thick, but it's got to be strong enough to stay up in any position without drooping. Normal house wire, 14 gauge. Okay. Let's see, build them back. Lots of us have them. I'm wearing one right now. Big boy on the front. Mm, damn, big boy. I have to check out the store and say, 
DB Tech, DB Tech, what's up, DB Tech? I need a sparky travel mug and a coffee cup. Go to the Teespring store, Sparky's, what do you call it, store? And go pick one up. DB Tech, are you coming too? Oh, I forgot about Artie. Artie is live. I forgot all about Artie. Oh, look, Steve Brown did a video. How experts install risers for a grade change. Experts. Ooh. I always wanted to be an expert. Oh, yeah. That's where I was going. It's going over to... Let me just go over to Sparky's channel. Let's be in Sparky 107, 107. Hey, Sparky, why, why is your channel 107, 107? What's the 107, 107 uh, significance? Sparky, how come you don't have a store link when you go right to your page? What's up with that? Dude, you need to have a store link. Directly on your page. Not in your about page. It's a pain in the ass. No, I think Keith took them down. There's just normal stuff up there. I guess. I don't know. I don't see anything from last year's meet and greet. Unless it's somewhere special. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it. Just when I signed up for my email, they mentioned a number. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Oh. Not sure how to set that up. I think if you go into your dashboard, you should be able to do it in there somewhere. I'll let you know. Because everyone else has a Sparky channel. <laughs> what do you want, Jerry? I was just looking to see if you had shirts from last year. I didn't even get a Strasburg shirt. I wanted one. And I had I used the pictures. You used my pictures. And I never got a Strasburg shirt. But it's no big deal. Yeah, tell Heath to get to working on the new shirts. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, Heath. We still haven't found a place for a campfire. Campfire where? At the meet and greet? Anything? Time to go to bed. It's 9 o'clock. Anything? And see if that works. Oh, I, I left your page. Mm. No, still doesn't. I mean, it's still not listed like right there like where it says home videos shorts lives playlist community and then there would be a store one next to it there would be a store in between there somewhere that's okay he'll figure it out one day uh, yeah campfire at the meet and greet yeah i mean Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think the hotel would like a campfire in their parking lot, and 
I don't know. You know what happened the last time we had a campfire, DB Tech? Didn't work too good. We need to plan a time and place for lunch or dinner together or maybe a picnic style. Well, it sounds like Sunday, there's going to, like Saturday, there's going to be four hours in Minersville. So I'm sure someplace in there we can have lunch, dinner, the diner. I would go to the diner. It's right across the street from the parking lot. The diner's pretty good. I've, I've been there. And it's pretty reasonable. And they have like a... Uh, they have like a salad bar and soup bar. That's all you can eat. It's good. Soup's good. I'm not a mod, so I can't post them as links. What, what do you want to post? What do you want to post? This? Your store? What do you want to post? We have a fire in downtown Reading. They wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> yeah, this is true. <laughs> this is true. This is so true. Yeah, but you know, the last thing you want is the fire trucks to turn off. David, you kind of forget our little Makunji uh, incident, don't you? <laughs> uh, mystery. But, uh, yeah. This is the meet and greet link. Go get your tickets if you haven't got your tickets if you're going. Uh, when I post up the, this link, it takes me right to last year's shirts and mugs and cups. Really? Really? I don't, I don't see your link that you're posting, for one thing. Um, let me see if I see it over here. Bunny slippers. Make Sparky a moderator. Uh, all right, Sparky, I'm going to make you a moderator, but it's just temporary because I only have one moderator, okay? Here you go, Sparky. Post your link. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really weird. I wonder why. Oh, so I wonder if you just did meet and greet 2022. Nah, that didn't work. Okay. What color is that? Late olive. I wonder if you can still get it though. Is it going to be like Ian's train? 
or Digger's train where he ordered it and never got it, and they still kept his money. I know you sons of bitches. Um, 3D printing some Atherin dry shaft couplers. They're try. Maybe only I can order them now. What do you want? Well, nothing really. I mean, I see it. I mean, I see it. I mean, I see what you got there. But I just wonder why it doesn't show up. On your other page, like your normal Teespring store. I'm a kid small, Sparky. <laughs> CS6 Rail Fame, what's up? John Canalfo, how are you? Those are big boy shirts. Meet and greet. Yeah, I know they are. I see them. I can see them fine. But I just wondered why you couldn't see them on your the Teespring store link that I posted. It's no big deal. Yeah. I guess I can order them. I don't know. I guess. I guess so. But I'm going to hold out for a Minersville shirt. Tell Heath to get going. Let's go. Oh, shoot. I don't know. What's up, fellas? The new fellas that came in, 6711, Mr. John. Did you get all your housework done or whatever you had to do, Mr. John? Sixty-seven eleven. Did you go train train catching today? It was a crappy day. Oh, DB Tech, DB Tech, postmodern. What's up? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Yeah, I don't know where who's got good food in Miners though. I saw somebody said something about a pizza place, but you know. Yeah. I don't know. But the diner for sure for dinner. If you you know, if you want to go to dinner later, the diner is really good. Nothing like diner food. And they probably won't be crowded when we go back. They're, they're busy, but when we went last time, we went after, and it was in March. Yeah, it was, in, I think, in March. We went on the, or April. I think in April. We went on that A Night of Clipper ride. And then we went to the diner afterwards. Month after my event, I have Heath take down all the meet and greet stuff for the, that year. Okay. Some then laid down, now going to eat a sandwich. What kind of sandwich you have? Don't feel like cooking. No, I don't blame you. What makes it collectibles? Limited time to buy. Yeah, I know, but like, you know. The whole point of your store is to sell stuff. You can't sell stuff that's not there. It's still collectible. It doesn't make it any less collectible that you can get it two years after the event happened. The point of the store is to sell stuff, Sparky. People like variety. Somebody might be scrolling through today and say, oh, wow, I like that. That looks really cool. I'm going to get it. 
Bing, bing, bing. Sale. Cha-ching. How far are you from Kenneth Square? There's a bar and pub type place there that had awesome food. Can't remember the name. Um, not very far at all. And my shop is even closer. And I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, my shop is probably, I don't know, 15 minutes from there. 20? Nah, I'd say 15. Depends on the time you leave. From where I am now, probably a good 30 minutes. But it's not someplace I go much, even at all. <laughs> I've been there, but never for food or anything. But there's a lot of good places out there to eat. I'm guessing John is having a ham and cheese on wheat bread with mustard and pickles. Been there a bunch of times. Great bar food. She can't remember the name, huh? Does it have a train running around it inside or something? It's just a bar and pub. So, Sherry, are you going to make us all train whistles from wood decorated for RDC Minersville 2024? Choo-choo? Um, no. But maybe some Chinese guy will. Oh, my God. How, how would that be? Jesus, Lord. If everybody had a train whistle on the trip gotta be like the kids you want to kill them let me look at a map okay it's snowing again jesus man sparky you getting any snow yeah they said that was dave bns he was what was it? in this chat earlier i think yeah, or another chat that I was in. I can't remember. I think, yeah, this one earlier said it got snow and they were going to get more snow. He's in Wisconsin. Give Rick a train whistle and see now. Uh, done snowing. Warm up a bit Sunday. Uh, <laughs> to put on saying what's just <laughs> mm. well pickles are good pickles are mighty good oh shoot Kristen did you just wake up oh shoot brown Something and Swiss cheese tonight with Miracle Whip. Brown. I don't know. Oh, ham and Swiss. Yeah, that's a good combo. Ham and Swiss. Miracle Whip. Mm, not a fan of Miracle Whip. I like regular mayo. But that's good though. Regular mayo would be good. Miracle Whip's okay. Pickles? No pickles? 
tomatoes, no? A little bit of lettuce. Windy and cold. Yeah, this sucks, man. Did you get a lot of rain, DB Tech? It rained all day here, man. Poured. No, no, no. no. Yeah, I took a nap mm -hmm. and ate dinner. Woke up at 4 a.m. And I woke up at 4 a.m., but I went right back to bed. I was like, nah, don't feel like getting up. Off tomorrow. That's cool. Do you work weekends? All checks are complete. I don't know what the heck that was about. Rain yesterday. Cat wants to eat at 4 a.m. Yeah, well. It's going to have to get someplace else to eat because I ain't waking up at 4 a.m. to feed them. Did you hear from DJ Sparky? It was raining earlier. I was inside watching the dog. There was a train show in Delaware today. DB Tech, I guess you didn't go. Saturday is semi-optional, but beneficial because Monday is so busy. It's good to get ahead. Yeah, that's true. Nothing from DJ. I usually make her wait till 5. You're evil. You're evil, John Canoffel. Making that poor thing wait till 5. 4 a.m. wants to eat. Cats got the life, man. So do dogs, too. But cats don't do a damn thing. Sleep all day. Get up, eat, go back to bed. Repeat, repeat, and repeat. Anyway, Dwight Curley's going to do a live tomorrow, I guess. I guess he's still going to do a live. I don't know. I guess so. I don't know what he's going to do in his live stream since he doesn't have a layout. But we'll see. We shall see. Who else uh, got anything good up? Yeah, Hot Dog Andy will be live tomorrow at 9 a.m. Anything else? Wade Wag's got a video out. Mail call, Late Night Hobbies. Ooh, he bought some jelly kits. Ah, very nice. Yeah. It's busy. Okay, guys, time to take off. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, Sparky. I'm going to get ready to wrap it up, too. Have a good night, buddy. Take care. Thanks for popping in. No train shows this month. Spent enough money last month. Yeah, you got to save up for Timonium. Got to save up for Timonium if you're going. Because that's the big one. Better bring about, I don't know, 50 bucks with you. Probably get a lot for 50 bucks. Yeah, Timonium. What is Timonium? Timonium is uh, Yankee Dabbler has a countdown on their website for Timonium. Timonium is 34 days, 11 hours, 37 minutes away. 
9 to 5 on Saturday, 10 to 4 on Sunday, April 27th and 28th. That's it. Digger went to bed. He fell asleep. I know. Sitting there typing. Fell asleep. He'll wake up with his phone in his hand. In a couple of hours. Well, I think that's it. That's all I got. My tank's empty. Everybody, have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I don't know. See you tomorrow. Hopefully the Amazon guy comes before I go do a live stream so that I can show you what I got from Amazon. Have a good night. Have a good Sunday. Take care, everybody. Hey, Closet Brands. Good night, Closet Brands. <laughs> Take care. See you tomorrow. See you guys. Sorry, Jerry, couldn't find it. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. Doesn't matter. All right, guys, later. Have a good one. See ya.